Hey guys, Mushroom Gecko here, and uh, I'm doing another Redstone Commander video. So, uh, yeah, you were probably thinking, what did you do? Well, uh, I'm about to show you. So, if we go down here, uh, we're gonna review that one for last, the Pet Gecko, because it's awesome. So first, we have a. Hang on, wait. Uh, okay, it's on easy mode. The first thing we have here is a super villain. It's a flying zombie. <laughs> and so if I switch into uh, survival, it will shoot me. Like it's a villain. But you can't have a super villain without a superhero. Which is just a villager on a ghast. So yeah. Um, so the thing behind this is um, we are using the summon command. So we are summoning a zombie a blo um, one block above the command block. And we are making it ride a ghast. And then after that, we are making the ghast invisible for, um, for infinity. So, so, uh, one with six zeros is infinity. And then, uh, two five five is the highest amount it can go. So the superhero follows the same com concept, just a villager riding a ghast. And we're just making the ghast invisible. Um, so over here, we have animals that hate you. So it's just um, a sheep riding a silverfish, so if I were to go into survival mode real quick, the sheep would kill me. Or at least try to, and I do not know what happened there. So, uh, yeah. So with this, we have a sheep riding a silverfish. So we're spawning the sheep one block above the command block, and then we're making it ride a silverfish. And after that, we're making the silverfish go invisible, just like we did the gap. After that... We have a giant chicken jockey. Yep. <clears throat> a huge, giant chicken jockey. So the thing behind that is we're not making a zombie age a lot like you would with the wither and all that. We are actually summoning a giant itself. So we are summoning a giant one block above the command block and we're making it ride a chicken. So yeah. And since it has a huge hitbox, it's floating above the chicken. So, uh, after that, we have the slimy tower. So, uh, yeah, these are some huge slimes. I'll go over how to, like, spawn them in a minute. So, uh, yeah, it's a magma cube and a slime. Now, the way we spawn the slimy tower... <clears throat> hang on. I need to kill everything. Slash kill at E. So, uh, after we did that, we will go back over there. Ah. So, um, so the slimy tower. We are summoning a slime. <clears throat> and we're gonna make it size 5. So it's gonna be 5 blocks high. So then we're gonna do that first, and then we're gonna do the riding command. So, um, we do the size first to identify it with the slime, not the magma cube. <clears throat> so then, we're gonna do the riding command, and we're gonna make it ride a magma cube, or lava slime, what they call it. <clears throat> and then we're gonna make the lava slime size 5. So it makes it look like they're riding each other. So, um... Hang on, yeah, I just wanna, um, uh, nope, I just went over the slimy tower. And then we have animals that are afraid of you. Hang on, I, need, I really need to kill all these slimes if I can. Alright, and then just kill. Alright, so we just got rid of uh, all the items. So over here, we have animals that are afraid of you. So uh, we have a sheep. So if they like walk up to it, it's going to start to run away from us. So that could be something. Where did it go? So that could be a uh, cool feature if you are doing a survival thing that uh, if you want to catch mobs or if you want mobs to be afraid of you and make survival harder, then that's pretty cool. So, yeah. The thing behind that is um, we are summoning a sheep riding an ocelot. So we're going to um, summon a sheep one block above the command block, and we're going to do the riding command. And then it's not spelled Ocelot, it's spelled Ozolot, but I'm not sure why. Mojang, you messed up. If you don't think you messed up, then leave it like that. And then we're going to make the Ocelot invisible. 
So, um, yeah. Uh, you can do any number for invisibility. Just anywhere, anywhere from 1 to 255, because 255 is the largest amount. Next, we have a cat jockey, um, dedicated to one of my good friends, um, Cat the Skeleton YT. I will put a link to her channel in the description below. So, uh, yeah. That's a skeleton riding a cat. So, Cat the Skeleton. So, yeah. Now, the way we do that is we are summoning a skeleton one block above the command block and then making it ride an ocelot. I do not know why it does not have a bow, but okay. After that, we have a party creeper. So since creepers are afraid of ocelots, I'm like, I can do some pretty crazy stuff with it. So I made a creeper ride an ocelot, or an ocelot ride a creeper. So the creeper goes absolutely insane. Well, you guys probably guess what happened here. Um, we are just summoning an ocelot riding a creeper. And we're not making it invisible. The next here, we have the Butterman. So, so over here we have an Enderman, and then it's riding a silverfish, and then it's summoning gold under its feet. So that's something really cool. I dedicate this command to Austin ISG, all my stuff. I'll put a link to his channel below. You probably see me um playing with him on Minecraft and Gary's mod and all that all the time. So, uh, yeah. Now, before the silverfish destroys, um, well... We, we, the Enderman's riding the Silverfish because the Enderman would just teleport everywhere. So, um, and really quick, but I don't have time to type in the command, so we're going to change it to Peaceful real quick, and then we're going to change it back to Easy. So, uh, yeah, the Butterman. Now, the way we do that is that all we're doing right here is that we're summoning an Enderman 25 blocks away, X from the command block. And then we're just going to have it at ground level. And then we're going to have it 25 blocks Y away from the command block. And then we're just going to make it ride a silverfish. So then what we did for that is the Butterman placing, or uh, Butterman Butter placing. We are executing a command towards the Enderman. And then we're going to want it to be at the Enderman. So we're just going to leave these blank. So then we're going to set it under its feet. So we're going to set the gold under the Enderman's feet. So we're doing negative one um, Y. Or over there I meant to say Z, not Y. Sorry about that. And then we're going to summon Minecraft gold block under its feet. So then whenever the Enderman walks, it summons gold under the Enderman's feet. So uh, after that, I'm going to probably uh, say... Nah, okay. So, um... Here we have a giant pet magma cube. Yeah, I can't I can't fly when I'm recording for some reason. But uh right, hang on, hang on. So uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't teleport to me. No! It, you teleported to me. So, uh, yeah, over, um, that's huge. So, uh, yeah, if you want a magma cube to follow you around as your pet, well, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Okay, this is really annoying. So, we're just gonna constantly kill these. Uh, constantly, hang on. Constantly do that. And I think just one more time. Okay, that's it. So, um, so that was the giant pet magma cube. Now, the way we did that was we summoned a lava slime or a magma cube one block above the command block, and then we're gonna make it size 25, so 25 blocks high, and then we're gonna make it ride a wolf. So, yeah. Next thing we have here is the Squidward. Ironically, I'm watching Spongebob. So we're going to summon the Squidward. Now, the squid may look like it's dying, but it's not. Because I have all these commands right here running. So we're making this... Um, so what we're doing is giving it instant health real quick um, at the maximum amount. And then for, for an infinite amount of time. And then... 
And then after that, we gave it, um, um, regeneration for, for an infinite amount of time for the maximum amount it could do it. And then after that, we gave it extra health of 225 hearts, which is the maximum amount of heart that you can add to yourself. And we're going to do that for an infinite amount of time. So the squid never dies, no matter how many times he dies from being on land and out of water, he's never going to die because he's constantly regaining health. So after that, okay, hang on, I'm going to have to close the door. And then just, um, slash, yep, hang on, caps lock, time, yep, that's tie, time, set, night. So then we're sending it toward night, and then after that, Squidward making a huge mistake. Alright, so, here we have the ninja. So, um, just spawn a few villagers out here, and then go get them. And then, come on, get them, get them. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it takes a while for the zombie to hit him, but uh, he hits him. So, yeah. So, um, oh, we also gave him fire resistance, so I could have kept it that day. So we're going to kill everything here. And then, time, set, day. Alright, so here we go. Um, so if you guys can guess what happened there, I'll give you a few seconds. Alright, so I gave you enough time. So real quick, what we did was we spawned a cave spider three blocks away from the command block, so it's spawning in there. And then we're going to make it ride a zombie, and I don't know why I did the equipment. I was trying to make it hold a sword or something. So, um, we could just do that. So we're just, all we're doing right, right here is just making the zombie, or making a spider ride a zombie. So then over here is where we get the fast stuff. Right here we have fire, we have a fire resistance potion at the maximum. And then we're doing it for an infinite amount of time. Now, for all these, I'm doing it for infinite amount of time and at the maximum. In this command block, um, I believe we are giving it um, instant damage because instant health kills zombies. So then here, um, hang on, flash effect uh, at, yep, hang on, uh, at, no. At P5. What? Oh, I did two E's by accident. Perp the derp. So, uh, we're actually giving him strength for the number five. So, he instantly kills villagers. So, in here, we have 11, which I believe now is the, um, yeah, it's the, no, it's actually resistance. So, it's giving, so I'm giving the zombie a lot of defense in, uh, this command block. So then in this command block, we are giving the zombie speed of 50. So 50 ticks per second, 50 speed. So uh, for this one, I believe this one, we are giving it jump boost. So yeah, we're giving it jump boost in this one at the blight, uh, block height of 4. So, um, so if you give it to the block height of 4, it will jump five blocks high believe it or not but since i have one i'm only jumping two blocks high so um there you have to give it one block below the amount of blocks you want it to jump because you already jump at um in vanilla you already jump one block high so if you give yourself an extra point of jump it will make you go an extra block high so um number seven i believe is it's damage. I knew it. I caught it. So, yeah. Um, we're giving instant damage instead of instant health because instant health, like I said before, kills zombies. 
And then we're giving it for um, 255. And then this one, we are giving it health of 255 heart, so he can never die. Now, um, in this, we are doing the exact same thing for the cave spider, except for giving it um, strength, I believe. I don't know. Hang on. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, instead of... Alright, hang on. So, 11... Speed, jump boost. What? Oh. So ten is um. So ten is regain health. And then for this, we're giving it jump boost, just like the zombie. Um, I don't know what I. So for twelve, I forget what I did for twelve. Twelve is. Uh, hang on, wait, let me, let me go back, let me go back. Alright, so... 12. So, um, I don't believe we're giving this guy fire resistance. We, I gave the zombie fire, yeah, I, I'm not giving the spider fire resistance because they don't, they don't naturally burn during the daytime. So I just gave the zombie fire resistance so he can, like, survive the day. So, uh, sorry for that little delay there. Um, so we're basically giving all, so we're just basically giving the spider everything... That we're giving the zombie except for the fire resistance. So over here. So uh, over here. Yes. This was eventually coming at some point. You you guys knew this was eventually coming. So um. It's a bat. It's, it's a bat. But um. I call it a gecko because there are these types of geckos called gliding geckos and gliding geckos can like jump at amazing heights and um they can fly like they're gliding so yeah like that they can jump amazing heights because they have to because they live in the forest and they have to jump or jungle and they have to jump trees so um let's see what we're giving this guy uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty amazing and um so if i spawn like a villager and i tell it to attack the villager it um it, like, will not stop attacking the villager. And if I spawn a creeper, and I, and I know this is there. So, if I spawn a creeper. The creeper. Why aren't you running away? Okay, so it's running away. For, because my pet is so awesome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, right here. Alright, hang on. So, I cannot concentrate with this, and I cannot concentrate with the volume up. So, let me turn my TV down real quick. Um, mute. So, um, and I just do that again so we can get rid of, uh, some items. So, um, over here, we are summoning an ocelot. We're not summoning a bat. We are summoning an ocelot and then we're gonna make it ride the bat so uh, we're summoning an ocelot and then we're gonna make it ride a bat and then we're gonna make the bat ride a wolf so um yeah the reason why we're making it ride a, um, an ocelot so it scares away creepers because um pets or uh, dogs or wolves whatever you want to call them do not have a reaction time when creepers blow you up, because creepers instantly die when they blow you up. So we have an ocelot to scare away the creepers. So I can see, oh, a creeper's trying to kill me. So I hit the creeper, and the um, pet goes running towards the creeper. So um, I was going to add an iron golem, but that did not work, because the iron golem was not cooperating. So um, we just have these three mobs. So, um... And when a monster instantly attacks you, your pet instantly goes after the mob that attacked you. So if it's a spider attacked me, the mob will go after the spider. And, uh, yeah. So look at this long line of command blocks real quick. Your, your, your mind's gonna probably be blown after this. Because of how simple it is. It may look very complex, but it's actually really, really simple. So first we're gonna summon the, um... The pet. And then we're going to make 
and then we're going to give the wolf an effect of 12 or resistant. And then I put this true here so the particles do not show. And over here, I'm giving it speed of 10. So every 10 ticks per second, it runs. Or it um, runs at 10 ticks per second. And then, um, and then we're just giving it an infinite amount of time. We're giving these all in an infinite amount of time. Now for these, we, um, now for this one, I believe I'm giving it strength at 255. Now, I don't believe strength works on, uh, wolves, so it's not working. So then for number six, or, um, for six, I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's nine. Alright, so we're giving it instant health every, so we're giving it instant health 255 times per second or tick. So yeah, so it like never dies from that. So then here we're going to make it jump 25 blocks high. So it's basically jumping the, the same height as the magma cube or slime, that, that giant magma cube or slime. So then, um, so yeah. So jump boost of 25 blocks forever. And then for this, um, oh, never mind, that same one. And then for this, um, number 10, I, let, me, let me see what number 10 is. I believe it's regeneration, I knew it. So for number 10, we are regening the, um, the pet 255 times per tick or second. And we're going to make it go on forever. So like, um... So it's another way the pet never dies. So for this, um, number 11, I believe it is resistance. I'm not sure. No, it's, yeah, it is resistance. So, okay. Um, so we're giving it resistance. So it, like, um, it has high, 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 high defense forever. And then for this, we are making it invisible forever. And then, uh, you can just put any number here, because invis invisibility does not really matter. And for this, we are giving it the instant health, so it has 255 hearts. And then, um, we're giving it forever, so it also never dies. And then, um, those can, like, regen the 255 hearts. Now, for here, we're doing all the same things that we did for the wolf, except for the invisibility part. And we're not doing the invisibility part because we want our bat to be our main pet. So, um, so yeah. Now, um, for here we're giving the ocelot the same exact thing that we're giving the wolf. Um, except we change, instead of wolf, we change it to ocelot. And then we're also making it, like, um, I put the same exact numbers and everything in here. Because I, I just don't know why, and I just feel safer doing that. I don't know why, but I just did. So, um, yeah. So, if you want to summon something, like, if you want to... Now, this right here is your main pet. The first riding is your main pet. Now, what you want to do... Now, if you want to have, like, I don't know, a pig... I'm dedicating this to you, Ellie Rock. So, um, if you want to want to make it ride a pig, you do that. And then um, all you do is just change your middle command blocks right there to pig instead of bat. And then, here you go. You have a pig that fights for you and, like, scares away mobs. And it's really, really fast. So, uh, yeah. So if I spawn, like, uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Um, villagers are, like, the best thing that, <laughs> sorry, voice crack. Villager are the best thing to test things out spawn. So Mr. Piggy, hang on, wait, I really need to change that to Mr. Piggy. So, um, because Ellie Rock just loved Mr. Piggy. Um, so we're just gonna take this, and then we're gonna have a name tag. And then just change this to Mr. Piggy real quick. Um, Mr. Piggy, and then here we go, and then where are you, yo, bro, I think I can give it to the ocelot, I'm not really sure, yo, come here, oh, I think my wolf 
just killed the pig. So uh, let's resummon that real quick. And then uh, we give the name. Whoa, dude, get over here. Get over here. I can't give anything name tags. Oh, now I fly. Alright, well, I don't know why I cannot give it a name tag. Probably because of the hitboxes and stuff. And wow, that pig can jump. So, um. So, if we make it. So, the pig will start killing the villager if we hit it. <laughs> that is really cool. And awesome ISG. This one's for you also. So, um, we are gonna make it right an ender man. Ender man. Okay. Tang, tang, thank you. Wow, it was just spawned like three endermites. Whoa! Hang on. Sit. Okay, I do not want that to run. Because I do not want... Okay, so you already turned stuff... You already turned that to... Wow, you stupid underman. So, um... Alright, now you can get up and walk. So, <laughs> that's just so weird. So, um... Here, let, let's get, let's get a command block back real quick. So command block. Okay, I think we need to kill everything here. So yeah, if you want a pet Enderman, there you go. So uh, let's run. Command block there. All right, so slash summon. Let's have a pet ghast. That would be cool. Summon, um, Ocelot, that's, spelled Ocelot wrong, Ocelot, and then Tilda, um, Tilda 1, and then Tilda, and then, um, Riding, ID. Alright, hand. This is for Katniss the Skeleton YT or Cat the Skeleton YT. So um, skeleton. So if you want a pet pet skeleton, here you go, Cat the Skeleton YT. Um, and then bracket. Yep. Nope. Um, riding. Whoop. Yep, hang on. I did that wrong. ID. Oh. Yep, nope, 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 no. Nope. I'm I'm derping up a lot today. And then bracket. No. Meh. Bracket, bracket, bracket. Thank you. I hope this works. Done. Alright, so um over here. Button. Yeah, I forgot wolves attack skeletons. Well, uh, Katniss Skeleton YT or Cat Skeleton, if you want to, uh, have your skeleton survive, change these command blocks to, uh, whatever. Oh, I also want, like, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have an idea. Wither, 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 this is gonna be awesome. Wither. This is probably going to destroy my whole world, but I don't care. Oh. Wait, what? Um. Oh, it's Wither Boss. Boss. Like a boss. Whoa! No! Bro. Absolutely not, bro.
Okay, well, uh, that kind of stunk. So let's pick these. Alright, so you guys probably don't want to see me spawn any more stuff in. But, um, so yeah, if you guys like this, leave a like and comment. Um, live a wonderful life on the Mycelium Watcher. I'm not going to the club kickers and keep those gems shining ones. Kick them out. Boop. And I will be putting the, um, commands in the, uh, description as I always do. And if you guys want to see more things, subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I will see you around, guys. So, yeah. See ya.